So today we'll talk about parsing a JSON file in Databricks and we will touch upon two different kinds of JSON pull and another is a nested JSON. So simple JSON will be where a JSON has only attributes and the nested JSONs are the ones where you can have an arrays or another JSON as part of the um, JSON. So let's see first uh, what are the different types of uh, uh, with different data types JSON supports. So one is a string, another is number and then third is object, fourth is array, fifth is boolean and null. So these are the data type you can have in any of your JSON files. So string and numbers they are fairly simple. Uh, you know that string has to be in a quote, quote, double quote, inside double quote. Number can be either integer or float it can be anything an object so here is the example of uh, json objects so you can say another json can be embedded in the in the same json so that's also another type and when we say array uh, one of the attribute may have multiple values that is what is called json array and if you have a boolean in json it has to be either true or false and it can also contain nulls so these are all the supported data types Okay, so now this is a simple example of a simple JSON. Here you can see there are one, two, three, three different attributes. First one name, attribute one, attribute two, and these are the values. Okay, this is an example of simple JSON. And the nested JSON here, if you see the nested JSON inside person, you have an array. Each array, array will have one object, JSON object. Now within the JSON object again within car you see another JSON is embedded. So this is called a nested JSON. So in this uh, uh, module we will see how we so can jump into our uh, uh, database demo and JSON see files. Files. <coughs> what all you can, can learn with okay, this so JSON parsing in Databricks. So we have already created uh, different kinds of uh, JSON files and we have uploaded. So this is the first one which is the simplest one, uh, simple JSON. And this is going to be fairly simple. What you have to do is uh, spark dot read dot option. You say multi line true. The um, the significance of this multi line true is that in case you have written a JSON which is uh, one object is not in a single line. If it is spread across multiple line, this will uh, uh, if you do not use multi line true, it will throw error and it will become a corrupt record. So do not forget to use multi line true here. Okay, and then you say uh, option mode permissive here. There are multiple different options which we can use. We'll come to that later. That's not that important at the beginning. Uh, you say uh, dot JSON and you give your file path. Here you can see the schema of it attribute one to a name. There are only three attributes here. You can simply display and you can see. It's, it's it has already come to tabular format. Nothing, no transformation, no extra steps required here. Now, if you go to the second one, now this one is something like this. Here you have a child node, right? We'll see how if we load it as in, in a simple JSON API, how it comes. So I'll just run this and display. This is how it will come. So name and age, they are the sim uh, simple columns. But car, this is, you can see it has an object inside this. You can see model and name. Right? So there can be some uh, requirement for you to find out or to have these models and name also as part of your column. You don't want to have this as an array, but you want to have it in a column. Right. How you can achieve that is you have to uh, import a functions here and then this is an extra step you have to do. You have to tell which column has an array or object of arrays and then you say get item and the column or the key name. What we are expecting here we are expecting models and name. So one by one we will give both. Get item name and you, have, you can provide an alias what you want to give a name of that particular column. So one by one we can do both and let's see how it comes after this transformation. Yeah, Now you can see you have name, age and then you have car name and car model separately. It has come up, become a part of your column or the tab. So if you have to copy this over to as you SQL, you can simply copy it. Right. Now we will see. Uh, let 
so let's look at this particular json file here you have again the same schema name and age and then the car session uh, another tag but that is an array of objects okay within this also there is another level of nesting so the first one is just a key value pair and the second one is the array so this is kind of very very complex thing we you may not notice it in your project you may or may not encounter but let's see how it works so we will load this and let's see how it shows just with loading without any transformation you can see age and name has come as expected and here you can see different objects of array and you see this name as a different attribute for each object right now first we will try to get only this name we'll leave about this we'll try to get this name if we have to have another column which says cars name right how we can get that here we will use an explode function this explode function the parameter would be we are saying cars which is a column name here and we will pick this particular attribute by saying get item and the column name we can give another alias and we will keep rest of the things cars dot models whatever we have in this models we can again select it So and this and see yeah. so now you can see we have successfully fetched the car name separately outside and one more thing you will notice is that now this has become three different rows because we have three car names for the same name for the same person right so it will explode that is called explode so could we have exploded models also so I, I tried that as well but it does not allow to explode in the same um, yes. The same action so what we have to do is we have to do it in two-step process so once we have got this data frame now we can go ahead and we can explode this also as per our requirement thanks for watching our video and don't forget to subscribe our channel thanks